This is Let's Talk with Liz and I am Liz. Hi, my YouTubers. Welcome to the Let's Talk with Liz show. Today, we're diving into an important question that many people ask. Is financial success making us less human in a world where wealth and material success seem to define our value? It's crucial for us to reflect on what financial success truly means and how it impacts us as followers of Christ. As always, we'll be approaching this from a biblical perspective. Let's begin by recognizing that financial success isn't inherently bad. In fact, God blesses us with the ability to earn wealth. Deuteronomy 8.18 reminds us, but remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. There is nothing wrong with working hard, building success, or managing resources wisely. The issue arises when we allow money to take control of our hearts. One of the biggest dangers we face is the temptation to let money become our master. In Matthew 6.24, Jesus says, no one can serve two masters. You cannot serve both God and money. When we become overly focused on financial success, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. Our relationship with God, our families, and the people around us. Money can start to dominate our thoughts, our decisions, and even our identity. This brings us to a deeper issue. Financial success can lead us to become more self-centered. We start prioritizing our own desires over the needs of others. But as Christians, we are called to live differently. Philippians 2.3 says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, or rather in humility, value others above yourselves. If we let wealth and the pursuit of financial success consume us, we risk turning inward, thinking only of ourselves and losing sight of the call to love and serve others. Another way financial success can distance us from our humanity is by distracting us from what truly matters. The world tells us that our worth is tied to how much we own, but scripture paints a different picture. In Luke 12, 15, Jesus warns, watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. If we spend all our time and energy chasing after wealth, we lose precious moments with family, friends, and God. But let me be clear, there's nothing wrong with having wealth or wanting to succeed financially. The Bible encourages us to be diligent and responsible with what we've been given. Proverbs 21, five says, the plan of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. The key is balance. We should always remember that our worth and success are not found in money, but in Christ. So how can we ensure that financial success doesn't make us less human? First, we need to keep our priorities straight. Matthew 633 tells us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. When we put God first in everything, our perspective on money and success changes. It becomes a tool to bless others and glorify him rather than something we hoard for ourselves. Second, we need to practice generosity. Acts 20, 35 says, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When we use our financial success to serve others, we reflect God's love and compassion. Generosity helps us stay connected to our humanity, reminding us that wealth is not the end goal, but a means to live out God's calling to love our neighbor. In the end, financial success doesn't have to make us less human if we keep our eye on Christ. Our ultimate treasure is not found in the things of this world, but in our relationship with God. Matthew 6, 19 to 21 tells us, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Let's focus on storing up treasures in heaven where our true value lies. Thank you for watching. If this message resonated with you, please like, comment, and subscribe for more faith-based discussions. Remember, financial success is a blessing when it's used to honor God and serve others. Let's keep Christ at the center of our lives and never lose sight of what truly matters. 
God bless.